I'll do my job. It's time to go. Um, in the fall of 2001, like every other songwriter on in their creative force, um, after September 11th, every you know everybody processes their <clears throat> grief. I'm sure everybody has a song in the, that they wrote in the fall of that time too. And um, as I said, I write for other people, but um, for whatever reason, I wrote the song and we pitched it to uh, you know other artists, and nobody wanted to cut it. And so, in the meantime, uh, the MP3 of it got on a radio in Greensboro, North Carolina. So of they played it there, huh? Of your version. Oh yeah, it was my. It was just my work tape, keyboard, vocal, one take, you know. <coughs> but he played it, and um, within a week, 200 radio stations had downloaded it, and by November, it was the number one most requested song on PLJ and BLI and Walk and Light, and it started just going across the country, and it was just amazing. We had radio stations calling up, you know, my house, going, "Excuse me, you know, we're, this is you know WGOG, and we we don't have the single." <laughs> I'm like. We don't either. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I hate to tell you, but this. So it's just, it was just amazing. We subsequently pressed a single, and um, we raised twenty-six thousand dollars for nine eleven charities, which was, yeah. we were real proud of. Yeah. And we, had, uh, we had sales documented in every state of the United States, plus fifteen countries. Um, I get uh, for all of those of you who think I'm a loser, <coughs> and this is my house key. It's not. It's a very precious gift given to me by the man that's now videotaping it, <laughs> Martin. Um, it's an office key from the World Trade Center that he gave me, that he found, and it's my most precious piece of jewelry. And just even today, I don't know if you all want to share that, the last three years of my life have just been amazing. I've got, gotten the most incredible emails from people that, and that just, it just, it's just a blessing to be just a part of whatever this journey is. It's just amazing, so.
Christy was sitting at the computer crying, and she handed this to me. This came over and through her email just today. I would just like to tell you my story. I lost my husband that fateful day, and I was so sad. I didn't think I could bear the pain. We'd been married for one year, two days before, and I honestly thought I would die. And for all I knew, I wanted to as well. But that same day, all the TV stations and radio stations and pretty much anything that talks was playing, was talking about it. And this very special station, which I had never known, had never known existed, while I was just helplessly switching stations, came up and I heard the beginning of your song and I just left it there. And it began and I just clung to every word. And it was like you were just singing my entire story from that morning. I could not believe it. And believe it or not, your song has helped me through so much that I don't think I can thank you enough. The other day I got very sick and I went to the doctor and that's when I found out that I was pregnant. And nine months later I had a gorgeous baby girl who I named Christy as well. Christy Jackson, you are my hero. You are a true angel.